Emos wear glasses. I don't think Emo. Well, I don't know. I don't know about Emos. Think about it. All right, it's dark. Turn on some lights. Oh, I feel weird. Anytime it rains, it like I got metal. Oh, yeah. Well, part of being hipsters is. Some of these people think it's hip to be liberal. Yeah, if you look at liberals, they got these thick rimmed. Like these are thinner rimmed, but liberals they love the thick rimmed, and they think it makes them look smarter. So I don't know why they need to try to look smarter. These are not prescription. These are actually for. A computer, these are blue reflective uh, glasses. So I actually bought these to look more liberal. And if I'm on the computer, I might wear these. They block, these are blue light blocking glasses. So they're not prescription or nothing like that. It's just they were in the computer section. It said blue blocking light. And I'm like, I'm like, you know what? I'm on a, I'm on the computer quite a bit. I could try something like that, you know. So even though I'm not, at the, I'm only wearing them right now to look more liberal. But I bought them for two reasons, which is a good, plus I thought, you know what? These might work for protective glasses, like if I'm weed eating. I like to weed eat a lot in the summer, you know. And, uh, you know, I get weeds in my yard, and I got a weed whacker, weed eater thing. And, you know, it likes to spit weeds in your face. So I can wear this when I weed eat, but it might mess them up. I don't know. Yeah. Are you hungry, kitty? Maybe. Huh. I did notice I was at my computer and I was like lifting them up and putting them down. And I could I could totally tell like if you look it's reflecting the blue. You can see the blue reflection. So they totally work. Yeah. Yeah, liberals are anti-intellectual. They think they're intellectual. What they're doing is they're regurgitating propaganda and brainwashing, and then they think that makes them intelligent. And a parrot can regurgitate propaganda. You know, it's... If you regurgitate real facts you know that's smarter than regurgitating lies and propaganda and fake science they're really in the fake science and then they call it real science but really it's like medical tyranny so they think by uh you know regurgitating brainwashing from medical tyranny makes them intelligent no, it makes them um, a copycat lemming, a thoughtless uh, copycat lemming, you know. One of my stalkers thinks he's going, he thinks by calling me liberal that he's insulting me yeah i'm very insulted things by that aren't true you know or you know so i even ask people like what the fuck is he even trying to say and they're like yeah he, he looks pretty retarded He keeps trying to use my dead cat that I cared about. 
to harass me. Now he's like saying he wished my dad would fucking die. So, you know, that that's real good. He's definitely in the right, you know, saying he wished my dad died and making fun of my poor dead cat. That's totally the right thing to do, right? Yeah. I don't care. I just... I'm just trying to mock it, I guess. I don't know. These people are just very sad and pathetic. And I... I gotta... I don't know. I take two different kinds of coffee and mix it together. I like taking a dark roast and then a light roast. Because a light roast by itself is too light. A dark roast by itself. I used to like that and I drank that for many years. But it's lately it's it seems like it's changed. It seems too bitter now. But if I mix dark with light, it's like perfect. It's not too light, not too dark. It's like perfect. I can roast my own coffee. I can show you that. Uh oh. Man, it's fucking up. I had a premonition I was in a knife fight. If you've ever seen knife fights, usually both people lose. Maybe not all the time, but... Yeah, knife fights don't sound very fun, do they? Because you're like, stab, 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 and then they're, they're stabbing you, and you're stabbing them. So it's kind of a, just a lose-lose situation. I did see girls in a knife fight once, and that was a little different. They never made contact, and they kind of was like going like that, and they both kind of went I up to each other, and they never means, made contact, bitch. and they're flying on that knife around, and it was like two zombie Karens going at it with a knife, but they never sure made contact. You die in the fucking gas chamber you so were born kind from. of funny. They wanted to, like they were pretty close, but. Somehow they just never contacted. They they were about that far apart, or after the flailing, they were like almost touching, but never never touched. So it was, it was like two zombie Karen, literally trailer park trash. They were both fat and dumb, and anyways. All right, I'm tired of looking liberal. Okay. I, yeah, both parties tend to come away pretty slashed up.
And my premonition, we like both stabbed each other four times exactly the same and exact deep. And we both survived because we stabbed in the arms. But we both ended up with like the exact same stabs in the same location at the same depth. And then we just stopped after we were all bleeding and stabbed everywhere. Like we were stabbed in the forearms and the biceps and shit. And it's like we were stabbing and he like stabbed me. And so anyways, it was like we both got stabbed four times and... Yeah, you can totally die from knife fights. I, I've I've watched some of these many faces of death and seen some knife fights and like the gangs gangs will do knife fights. That's kind of what it was. Two gang members going at it with knives and in that case, I yeah, I'm pretty sure I, one of the dudes died. Um, anyways, I bought a hummingbird feeder thing. Come on, kitty. You gotta get up. I want to check this thing out. Get up. You gotta get up. Get up. You gotta get up. Come on, get down, you're pretty kitty. Here, I'll feed you. We'll see if it's any good or not. I paid 50 bucks for this fucking thing. I don't, I don't know why I did. I, I do, I did want it. Okay, which side's up? Is this side up? This side's up. It has Christmas tape on it. What the fuck? Well, I guess Christmas tape makes sense. Because really, if you don't use it, it's just going to go bad. I bet you could find some Christmas tape on sale. All right. Cat, cat, get down. She really likes this box. You like this box. I'm going to give you kisses. Come on, get down. No, you gotta get down. All right, I'm gonna open this box. I got a really cool knife. Check out my knife. You like my knife? That's a pretty cool knife, huh? Here, how about this knife for a knife fight? That'd probably work. It's got a nice sharpened tip. Both sides are sharp. One side serrated. And it's good for stabbing, so well, that'd be a good knife. two hands sorry hold on
Okay, first layer of box. Oh, my coffee's done. Cat, you like this box, but no, you got to get down. I love you. Oh my God, it's huge. Holy shit. What the fuck? Dude, it's huge, huh? Whoa. I didn't know it was huge. Holy shit. It's real staticky. Dude, it's huge. Um, it's not really matching the description, though. Hmm. It said it was made out of red clay. X brand. Here's the, uh, oh. oh, my ears are fucking itchy. Oh, fuck. Why? Why itchy ears? Why? Yeah, it's raining outside. I can see the rain. Itchy fucking ears. I don't know, on the internet it said it was made out of red clay. If it said made out of plastic, I'd have been like, what? I don't think I would have bought it if I knew it was made out of plastic. It is big and cool looking. Look at it. It's my hummingbird bird bath, but uh, it 
told me it was made out of red clay and it turns out to be plastic. I don't know. It don't look right at all. Something don't seem right. Uh. I want to get on, because this don't look right to me or something. No, no wonder somebody. Ah, I just feel fucking like this thing. This ain't making no fucking sense at all. That's about right. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like the fucking ad. Hmm. That's weird. Hmm. Because it says glazed jar fountain. Yeah. Um, that thing's fucking huge. I didn't know how big it would be. I thought it would be like maybe a little smaller or something. I don't think that's bad. It's kind of neat that it's bigger, honestly, but... Um, now I gotta look at that post I posted about it, see if that matches the post that I posted. So, so far the ad seems correct. Let me look at the post. You know, the post looks a little different. Huh. The one online and my and the video it has little LEDs and shit on it. Huh. A nice medium rest. I don't care if it has LEDs or not, but there it is. It does kind of match the, the picture, so. Think about that. I need a flashlight.
intriguing. I bought it now, so whatever. <clears throat> See, here's the uh, picture here of it. Round Ridge Water Fountain. everything it needs. Hmm. Interesting. See, <clears throat> I don't know why I fucking bought this. So we'll check that out here in a little bit. I gotta get some coffee in me, wake my ass up a little. Let's put my knife back. You like my knife? Well, if you like one, maybe you'll like two. Double vision. By the way, I bought these knives for three fucking dollars each. Oh, and they come with these wonderful sheaths. And by the way, they're made in Japan. I remember when I was like a kid, I used to think, all Asians were Chinese and that anything from China or anything Asian sucked. But it wasn't until I got much older did I realize there's like Japan is way different than China. And it's really because of the Internet and YouTube. That's when I really found out there was any difference because they don't teach you fucking none of this shit in school well back in the day you know they don't teach you fucking anything well 
when I went to school, they didn't teach people. You just sat there all day. They didn't teach anything. Whether you were in elementary, middle school, high school, you just sat there all day. They did not teach. If you asked to be taught or if you tried to learn, they would kick you out. I'm pretty sure they do that nowadays. I don't know. That's why I don't really have the best grammar. I wanted to learn. I would have totally learned. They, I, I'm surprised I know how to fucking read. <laughs> because the the schools and shit I went to, they they did not teach the kids. They didn't. There was no. There was a special ad for literal retards. Like, literally retarded, you would go to special ed. Well, I don't, you know. <clears throat> but when I was in school, they didn't teach anything. They didn't teach you math, science, um, English, how to... I kind of think in elementary school, they taught me how to read or something, but I'm, I'm surprised they even taught me that because literally, and it wasn't that I couldn't learn or didn't want to learn. They just didn't do it. And if you tried, you would get, I remember I had a math class and I'd sit there and read the math books and learn about fractions myself out of the fucking math book. And then one day some kid, I was sitting there doing the fractions and some kid said, Hey, how are you doing fractions? Can you show me? And I started showing them how to do fractions and they suspended me from school for showing a kid how to do fractions. <clears throat> I sat there and taught myself just cause I had the book and wanted to know what f the fuck fractions were. Because I was confused by it. And I'm like, well, I'll sit here and read the book. And yeah, they gave you a book, but they didn't teach. The teacher would just sit there all day and not do anything. You'd go into math class and you'd sit there and you'd do nothing all day. They wouldn't teach or do anything. That's why my grammar and shit, it really sucks because... We had an English teacher. Well, she was like some fucking psycho Karen liberal or something. And they didn't teach you nothing. And it's not that I wouldn't learn or didn't want to learn or they just didn't do it. I don't know if I got bad teachers or what, but um, they, they wouldn't do anything, dude. I'm not, I'm not joking. I made it to about 10th grade before they're like, uh, you're expelled or whatever. I got in a fight and they're like, you're expelled. Then I moved and went to a different school because they expelled me from that school, but I don't know if that's why I moved or not. But I moved and went to a different school and that's, that school was worse than the uh, other one I was at. They they didn't teach you anything. So I made it to about 10th grade before I'm like, there is nothing to gain here. You're not, it's just babysitting. That's it. They're, it's government paid babysitting. So your mom and dad could go to fucking work. If your mom and dad work. That's why during COVID when kids had to stay home, parents were getting pissed. Because it's it's just a babysitter. They're like, I, I got to go to work. I can't have these kids fucking the house up all day. It's to give your kid shit to do while your parents are fucking at work. It's to get them out of the house so they're not destroying the fucking house. 
because the fucking pay a babysitter to go to work every day is not going to work. Anyways, I'm going to finish my coffee here. I've tried looking up um, more about grammar, but I've never looked it up a lot. So I don't really have good spelling and grammar and shit. I had to actually teach myself to spell. I don't know how to fucking spell. Every day I'm sitting there trying to learn new words to spell and shit. Being on the internet and typing with keyboards, it helps. I've 90% of all the spelling I've learned, I've learned from just being on YouTube and shit and reading shit. I was pretty fucking illiterate. I could barely read. How are my hummingbirds doing? Oh, there's two empty feeders. Huh. Poor humming butts. I'm going to have to get your feeders here, buddy. They're freaking out. One's full and two are empty, so I don't understand what's going on there. They're freaking out, though. That's weird. Oh, that's sad. What's going on out there? I bought a bunch of weird shit at the store. making coffee let's do a sip hmm it's weird I drink one cup a day, but it is a bigger cup. 
If I drink more than one cup a day, it kind of makes me sick and jittery. I only drink one monster a day. If I drink more than one monster a day, I end up staying up too late. So I try to stick to like one cup of coffee a day. And if I drink a monster, just one monster a day. Oh, it seems good. It... I like taking um I like taking a dark roast and a light roast and I like mixing them together. I've been doing that lately. Normally I just like a straight dark roast. But it's been getting too bitter lately and I'm like I don't know if they've changed the beans or something or So I've been mixing like a light roast and a dark roast and then that tastes really good and it don't seem real bitter. But I kind of think I mixed light coffee. It tastes better, but it's still probably got the, the dark coffee in there. Maybe I'll try to do like 60% dark, 40% light roast. So I got different kinds of light roast. Like this one here is called Gunship. That's a light roast from Black Coffee. Black Rifle Coffee. Um, and then this is a light roast from Starbucks. And then this is like a darker roast. But it actually says classic roast. But this is... I got a bunch of these. I got about five of those, but I'm never going to buy any more because they're too expensive. Then as a dark roast, I got like um, Seattle's Best number four, Fair Trade Dark Organic. And then uh, I don't know what this is, but we'll try this someday, whatever this is. And then I got some of this to try. Whatever the fuck that is. Smells like shit. Yeah. Yeah, I only drink one energy drink a day. And I'll drink one cup of coffee. And I've noticed if I drink any more caffeine products that it, it has an effect on me. I'll get jittery. And I feel weird, like uncoordinated the drama box hmm. I just noticed your name I'm not into the drama a lot I get sucked into it sometimes but I pretty much try to stay out of it like, if people attack me or something, you know, like, that's when I'll talk shit or something. If people, you know, and I try to stay out of it a lot. A lot of times, even when people talk shit, I just, I don't care. Like, you know, but sometimes I'll address it. Oh, there's that one with... Oh, at least he's still alive. There's a deformed hummingbird. Oh, he's still alive. All his deformity ain't holding him back. He's got a deformed foot. What's weird is I don't see him every day, so... It has to have some effect on him. When I first started seeing him, I saw him every day. But then for a week, I didn't see him. And then I just saw him now. So he's still alive. I, can't, I try to keep an eye out. I got to feed these hummingbirds. Look, I'll show you. Look at that. That feeder's empty. Poor fucking hummingbirds. 
Um, I gotta feed these birds. <clears throat> All right. So here's the these cheap feeders. These are five dollar feeders. These are the best. It says made in USA and they sold at Walmart and they're about five bucks or something. And I've tried many feeders and these five dollar Walmart feeders are absolutely the best. They never break. They're totally the best. The bees don't get on them like other feeders that will be bombarded by bees. These ones will get bees, but it's way less. And it takes the bees about a month to even figure it out, really. What the fuck? I gotta make some more juice. I got enough to probably fill one. Well, maybe I can fill two half full. Oh, what's that? There's bubbles in there. What the hell? That don't make no sense. Yeah, what the fuck is that shit? could hurt the birds. It had like soap in it. I must not have unscrewed it when I rinsed it out. Now, they say don't do this, but I do it anyways because nothing else works. I'll show you. You just spray the tip of this hook. See the hook? You just spray just the tip with one little spray. There. That's enough. So, can you see it on there? That keeps the ants off. Um, I You can buy these little water cup hooks. They dry up in 10 minutes. They don't work. So I tried the little cups. And I, the ones I got that would just dry up. And the ants would just go over it anyways. So... You're not supposed to do that because the oil could mess with them, but I don't have any problem. As long as you just do that little top, you're fine. But if you, like, smear oil everywhere, yeah, that ain't right, and it'll hurt them. All right, now i got to get some shorts on and run out there and hang this up. Let's find some shorts. Oh, I bought new shorts. Yeah, I bought new shorts. Let's see if I can find... Because I bought this pair of shorts. And normally, like, when I buy a pair of shorts... Normally, you know, nowadays I'm fatter, so it's about a size 40. So I bought these shorts. They were on sale. These were nine dollars. I got these, but these are rip stop. And so I bought a size forty, and they were too big. They felt like forty twos, not forties. So then I went and returned those. I wore them. They were all fucking dirty, and I went and returned them. And the lady kind of looked at me, and it's Walmart, so she didn't care. She returned it, but she did give me a funny look. She's like, you got the receipt? I'm like, yeah. She's like, where is it? I'm like, oh, sorry, here it is. Fucking Karens. I don't blame them, though. 
There's a lot of crackheads that go into Walmart trying to fucking scam them. So here's my shorts. These are rip stop nylon, I think. So that's pretty good. I got on the internet and was looking at these LA gear rip stop nylon and they want 50 bucks. And I was thinking about buying those, but then I was like, well, I'll go to Walmart and see if they got some rip stop shorts and how much they are. Well, these were nine bucks and they're, these are burnt orange color. And I kind of like them because they look kind of rusty looking. It's, it wouldn't be my first pick, but this was, for some reason, they had a whole rack of these and nobody was buying them. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm getting congested there. Sorry about that. Sorry. I don't like it when people are disgusting and stuff like that. So I try not to do that. Sometimes I'll do it as a joke. <laughs> And there you go. Bird feeder. Now we'll take the old one in. Okay, now they got two full ones. I bought a hummingbird perch once. And the fucking raccoon drug it off and chewed it up. So I made my own perch look. So they set up on that little perch. And they sit there all the time. But I, I had bought a perch and I swear dude it was like 15 bucks for this little perch I bought. But the fucking raccoon drug it off. He thought it was food or something and drug it off. I ended up finding it all twisted up. It was chewed up where there was wood there and he like chewed it up. I, I think he thought it was like food or something. <laughs> and the metal was all twisted where he like bent it off the tree somehow. Because he, he used to steal the feeders. So what I did is to prevent him from stealing the feeders is I hung them on ropes. And I did find Sir, a spot God, where he's been chewing on the rope. I'm going to show you. Because I hung it on ropes once, but he pulled it up. So I was like, well, I need the rope long enough he can't pull it up. I don't know if you can see this or not. See this rope? Look, it's really long. Like, I had it shorter here. I had it about three foot long, and he, he would pull it up and fucking get to the feeder. See, here's one that I had... That's about three foot long or more. He would pull that up into the tree and eat it. So here, this limb here is broke. Um, this limb is broke here. See how that's broke? That's because he climbed out on that limb to try to get to this feeder and it snapped. But I did notice about halfway up this rope, you can see little chew marks here where he tried to chew it off. But look, this is, uh, that's really long. <coughs> Excuse me. I think a bug just flew in my mouth. Sorry. <coughs> so this one's on a short one. 
But this is a really skinny limb. He can't climb out on this skinny limb. So this one he hasn't bothered because the limb's too skinny. So this one, this is only like two foot long or maybe something like that, one foot. But he can't get on, on that skinny limb. It's too skinny, see? It's really long and skinny, he can't get out on it. But this limb here, he did try, it's even skinny, but he did try to get out on it and the limb snapped. See, he tried to get up on that one and it snapped. He tried to get to this one here. But look, to prevent him from pulling it up, I had to make it real long. I need to put more feeders out because I got three feeders out now and they're basically sucking them down within about five hours. So I need to hang another one up around here somewhere. I got six feeders in my shed, or not in my shed. How did you get back out? You want to come back in? No, you stay in. What's that? I don't like that guy. It says FedEx. Yeah, you know what? I don't know. I don't trust no FedEx pedo van. Because I already done, I've been having bad premonitions that something's fucking going on. I don't know, my premonitions are fucking telling me all kinds of shit. And they're somewhat reoccurring, so I'm a little worried. Yeah, that pedo van might not, that might be like a human trafficking fucking van. You want to come in, kitty? Fuck. You want to come in? Come in. No. I don't know. That FedEx van's actually tripping me out because there's he's just sitting in the middle of the road. Quit. Let's go check out the pedo van. Look, dude, he's just sitting in the middle of the fucking road. Here, I'll show you. Oh, and did he move? Oh, he might be on the phone. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he might be looking for packages. Yeah. see him there and he's just sitting in the middle of the road like there's nothing right there he's probably just looking he's he's probably looking for packages and shit you know what I mean still though that's a that's a pretty uh, weird looking van and there's only a tiny little sticker about that big that says FedEx Like, yeah, you could probably buy a little fake FedEx sticker and slap it on your pedo van. And then people will think you're FedEx and you're not. Hold on, do I need to look more liberal for people to believe me? I'm liberal. The thicker you, the rims on your glasses, the smarter people will think you are. Look, you can see the reflection. Look, you can see me in the reflection. There you go, like that. So, do my thin, thin rimmed glasses 
Is that in superior? Does it make me not look smart enough? Right? Ooh, double vision. Na, 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 na. <clears throat> All right. Well, you know, let's get on the computer with my uh, thick rimmed glasses. Actually, you can see the reflection there. I don't like that. You guys will be able to see what the fuck I'm doing. Anyways, yeah, no, I, I can't. I can't have that. Sorry. Sorry, I can't uh, let you guys see what the fuck I'm doing. Sorry about that. Okay, I gotta actually investigate something here. Just to see. Let's see. Let's see here. Uh oh. Okay, here we go. Dude, my computer lags so bad. I don't know if that's. Okay, that guy seems legit. Am I okay? I don't know. I think I'm okay, but I'm a little worried all the time, and my cat's fucking dying ain't fucking making no sense. I think about that a lot. He's been dead a, a, a month now. A month and six days. Or five days. Man, I fucking love that cat, dude. Really fucking kills me. I mean, I, like, really, really love that cat. Like, big fucking time, dude. Oh, I like this guy. Oh. Is that him? Yeah, this dude's based. This dude's based. That's cute. Hmm. 
I don't know if that looks good or not. Oh, that's cute. Either my shit's lagging or something like that. Very happy that I at least figured out that was good. Okay, what we figured out is that's good stuff. We figured out good stuff. But, I don't know. Hmm. Actually, you'd have to be harebrained to think that somebody with an ego the size of Donald Trump's, which may literally be the biggest ego in the history of the human race, would allow itself to believe that he actually did. I don't say that to attack him. It's that's an obvious fact. So Donald Trump's ego would not even allow any consideration of the possibility that he didn't actually win, which proves the case that he's not actually lying. And his ego aside... All of these strange anomalies uh, aside. Yeah, see, trying to debunk their claims is what they want. That's not how you debate. Uh, one of the best debaters I've seen is Jordan, what is it, Peterson or something? Jordan Peterson, Gordon Peterson, I don't fucking know. I don't really like the guy because he babbles a lot. But when you kind of see what he's saying, he's, he's right a lot. But for me, it's hard. Like, I'll listen to the guy and I want to like him and stuff. But he, like, drones on and on. And I'm like, I can't really tell what he's saying because it all just mixes all into one big thing for me. And it's hard to really take points and stuff because he's he almost starts to get monotone or something. There's ants in my fucking coffee. Yeah, there, ant. Oh, yeah, there. Yeah, there. All right, how's my hummingbirds doing? Well, one feeder is empty and two are full. I got this 
Oh, okay. Okay. That is a big fucking fountain I bought. That's See, if I wanted to try to make something like that, it's still 20 30 bucks. Um, and it was 50 so it's like, could I make one that big? It's like, no. I don't know. Yeah, there's something wrong with my computer or the software or there's like lag, like horrible fucking lag. This fucking computer. I need a new fucking computer. This thing's fucking sh totally shot. It's either... It's just so fucking laggy anymore. And This computer's never been fucking right. Computers are fucking expensive. I was looking at a computer and even... The, the cheapest computer I found was $800. And the graphics card in it was a $400 graphics card. And I'm like, well, that fucking makes the computer worth exactly. I don't think you could build that. Because it's $100 for the case. I looked up the case. It said it's $100 or more. Well, there's fans. You got to buy the fans in the case. Well, what's that? Another... 20 bucks or something. Okay, so it had 16 gigabytes RAM. Well, what is that? Another 100 bucks. Okay, well, it has a hard drive. Well, how much is that? Another 100 bucks. Well, it's got a motherboard. How much is a motherboard? Another 100 bucks. Well, it's got a processor. Well, how much is a processor? About another 100 bucks. It has a power supply. How much is a power supply? Maybe another hundred bucks. Okay, and then it's got the graphics card. How much is that graphics card? $400. Okay, well, there's more than $800 in parts there. There's about $1,000 in parts. And they're wanting a brand new in a box, $800. And it's like, that's a good fucking deal. That's, But the problem is I don't have $800, so. And now the, a bill came up. Some $500 bill popped up. And I'm like, motherfucker. So all I had was $200. So I'm like, well, I'll pay $200 now. And then I guess later I got to pay 300. So I'm like, well, I'll pay 200 now. I'll try to get another 200 as soon as I can. A week, a month, I don't know, whenever I can get another 200. And then I'm like, I'll, I'll go pay another 200. And then the last bill will be 100. So then I'll have to find another 100. And then hopefully in the next month, I can pay off this $500 bill. And then after that, maybe I can fucking find. See, my car, my truck needed new tags. So I went yesterday and got new tags and I did all this shop. And I noticed I usually keep some meat stocked in my freezer. And I noticed it's been, I've been eating it and it's dwindling down. So I'm like, well, I need new meat. So I went out and bought. <clears throat> Tons of fucking meat. I bought 
pork chops, chicken, steak and beef and turkey. The turkey I bought is um, for lunch meat. Then I bought a bunch of random ass shit. Like, look at this. This is ham salad. That was marked down. Look at this. This is a this is a cheese fucking ball. Swiss cheese ball. Marked down. Sounds pretty good. If you look at the was price, it was like eight fucking bucks or something. Let's see what it says. No, it was six bucks or something. So then I bought this cheese. Look, cheese marked down. That's a pound of fucking cheese. That was seven fifty marked down to three. That's a good fucking deal. Then I bought this turkey marked down. See, it says you save two dollars. Well, saving two dollars is great. Then I bought some hummus marked down. So I got hummus. There was a block of cheese here. Look at this. Block of fucking cheese. Look, this is a good fucking deal. Lindor chocolate was $8 marked down to 4 That's a good fucking deal. There's a tick on me. Get off me, tick. Die, fucker. Is that really a tick? Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. <laughs> Did I show you my, uh... Look, this thing is huge, dude. See, in the brochure, it says uh, 17 inches tall. So I'm like, oh, yeah, that's about, you know, this big. Like, seems a little bit bigger than 17 inches, don't you think? That thing's fucking huge. I thought it said it was made out of clay. Shows up, it's made out of plastic. And it's like, if I thought it was made out of plastic, I don't think I would have bought it. Because I'm sitting here thinking it's this big, heavy-duty fucking clay pot. Shows up, it's plastic. And it's like, what? 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 That ain't right. Cause pl I bought it as a hummingbird bath, and it's like I don't want my hummingbirds bathing in Chinese plastic. I thought it was made of clay. I should have known better. I don't know what I was thinking. It's probably made of lead paint and all kinds of fucking shit. I don't even know if I can use it. Oh, well, I don't know what to fucking think about that. I don't always make the best decisions. I want an Xbox controller so I can play Android games on an Xbox controller. And it's 60 fucking dollars for the Xbox controller that plays on Android. Because it actually says on the box, made for Android. So it's like, I'm pretty sure you got to buy the one that says Android on the box. Oh. 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 I'm going to get you. I'm going to whip your butt. Oh. 
I bought a bunch of uh, stuff to make pina coladas. Look, I got Bacardi Tropical. And it's got coconut, pineapple, and these other flavors. What is it? Uh, Gava. Pineapple, Gava, coconut. So then I bought just coconut to try that. Bacardi coconut. This is good shit. Uh, by the way, it tastes ten times better than Captain Morgan's coconut. Captain Morgan's coconut tastes like shit. Like, absolute shit. But Bacardi coconut tastes good. It almost tastes like a hot tub full of models or something. No, I don't know. I don't know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Is that why people buy Belle Dolphine's bath water? It tastes like... That's what I should do is sell Belly Dolphine's bath water, but just put Bacardi coconut in it. And then when people sip it, they'll be like, whoa, that's really fucking good. Damn. I knew I knew she tasted good. She tastes like fucking coconut and rum. They'll be ordering more. Like order more. I'm just I'm just joking though, but I wouldn't do that, but Ooh, double vision. I did buy a little bit of food storage, not a lot. I'll show you what I did buy for food storage. This was marked down. Look, it says save 250. So, chunky chicken four pack. Wait a minute. What happened to the fourth one? What the fuck's... I just got bit by like a spider or something. Oh shit. What the fuck? Something just bit me. the fuck oh shit well Dude, a spider just bit me or something. What the fuck? It bit me in a weird area. Look. Look at that. What the fuck? Dude! Look at this!
I'll tell you what, I got this really expensive fucking shit here. I'm going to rub that on it. This, this is extremely expensive. This is, ex this is like $40 a tube. Not even joking. I'm going to rub that on there. Maybe that'll help. I also might have uh, some Benadryl or something. Dude, what the fuck just bit me? It's like a spider. Dude, it's like that big. Something just fucking bit me. And that, that ain't no fucking um, mosquito. Mosquito bumps are like the size of a pea. That thing there is like that big. That's like a fucking spider bite. Yeah, we're going to put more on there. Yeah, this shit's like 40 bucks a tube. It says blue point. And it has a 666 on the symbol. There you go. That's what you need. You need your medicine to say 666 right on it. Dude, what the fuck bit me? What the fuck? That's all fucked up. Dude, this shit won't wash off my hands. Fuck. What the fuck just bit me, dude? That caused my fucking ass to swell up. Yeah, are you hungry? Here, we'll feed you. Here, let's feed the kitty something here. We will give you not salmon. No, you get tuna. Fancy feast tuna. Don't spend your, what? <laughs> What'd you do? Is that, I don't know. I would say something about that, 
but I've noticed you guys don't listen to any fucking thing I say, so I'm not even going to say anything. I saw a deer out there earlier. I don't see many deers anymore. Yeah, I'd say something about what you said, but like I said, uh, you guys don't listen to anything I say anyway, so. Not sure why it would matter. Ugh. I, my computer's just shot. I'm just going to turn it off. Come on, turn off computer. It won't, it's just 100% lag. It won't even do anything. I think it's, maybe the thermal paste is cooked or something, or, I opened it up and cleaned it about a, two months ago, and, it was dirty, but I thought it'd be a little dirtier, but I think the uh, software's going bad or something. I think it's either that or maybe I got some capacitors that have fried out or something. I don't know. I, I do a lot of demanding tasks with my computer I play a lot of games and shit and they're very high demanding games and I don't I don't even have a graphics card oh you know what I bought one never installed it what is it it's let me show you the graphics card Hey, I was at the flea market, and this guy, he's got this graphics card. I'm like, how much you want for that? He's like, 10 bucks. I'm like, bet. <laughs> it's a GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. Yeah, look, 10 bucks. And uh, I see why he sold it. It's made for a small computer, and it's small form factor, and it won't even fit in a normal atx case it's not even micro atx it's like super micro atx but it's got a regular old pci ex express slot on it but it won't fit into a normal case it, it has to be a macro macro micro case or whatever and it's got that form factor so Yeah, like I said, I'd I'd talk about that, but I'm not going to talk about it because you don't listen to anything I got to say anyway. So you want to make you want to make you want to try to make fun of me for stuff you don't even know. You don't know. And uh, I'm not even going to talk about it because you don't even listen anyways. Why don't you Google this? The narcissist can't hear you. The narcissist can't see you. Google narcissistic gift. Google narcissistic jokes. The narcissistic makes jokes. That's why these narcissists have a, a good sense of humor.
And that's why I have a shitty sense of humor. Because... That's why I could show you my receipts where none of them say EBT or, you know. I wish I could get EBT. I'd save a lot of money. But uh, I'm conservative, and conservatives are against government um, shit like that. You know what I mean? So I'm not liberal and look for handouts. I'm more of a person that believes in, you know, earning what you have. So, you can say whatever you want, but there you go. I bet I've paid more into Social Security and all that shit than you, or... I bet I've paid more taxes and whatever... I had a job all my fucking life. I had a career. I had to quit. The housing market collapse hit. And I couldn't fucking stand it. And that's when I quit my career. And that housing market collapse in like 2008. I had a... Pretty good career. Not the best, not the worst. I don't think it was like super high paying, but I had a fucking career. I was a fabricator. So I was a blue collar. I literally wore a blue shirt and I would do welding and metal bending. And I did a lot of aluminum welding, MIG welding, Steel welding, stick welding. I wasn't a welder, I was a fabricator. But part of the job was welding, but yeah. Oh, you want to uh, insult me? That's great. I hope you feel better about yourself. Like, I don't think there's anything you can say to me that really affects me or hurts me at all. So I would say I'd try harder. You know, I deal with a lot of people. I deal with a lot of, my, my entire life, I've been nothing but stalked and harassed. You know. So, um, I would say try harder. You're not making me weaker. You're making me stronger. You know. So. Please help me to be stronger. Try harder. Thank you. You attacking me doesn't make me weaker. And there's nothing you can say that's really going to affect me. Oh my god, he said something to me. Ah, help! He's, he said stuff to ah. I'm not liberal. I don't need a safe space. Uh, you know, sometimes it just gets annoying. And that's where I'm like, you know what? I'm. It's annoying. 
Yeah, you are trying to insult me. And it's it's not working. So try harder. Here, maybe you should make fun of my teeth. Like make fun of my teeth or something. There, I gave you something to make fun of me about. Talk shit about my teeth or something. A lot some people talk about my small penis. Maybe you should make fun of that. Uh, I have a drinking problem. Uh, maybe you could make fun of that. I don't have a girlfriend. Make fun of that. Well, I have a car. So I guess you can't make fun of that. Fucking Justin. The guy that'll stalk a person for over 10 years. For nothing. Just to make fun of somebody's poor fucking dead cat. Like he thinks he has something. Putting a spin on my name by saying it's... My name's Aaron, so he's calling me Karen. Like, I fucking give a fuck. Oh my god, you called me Karen. Ugh. I wonder where you got Karen from. Probably me. Because I call everybody Karens. Oh, wow, you're going to reverse my own insult back on me. Oh, my God. I'm so triggered. Oh, you called me a liberal. Oh, that really hurts. Oh, my God, he called me a liberal. What am I going to do? Oh, he said he wants my... He wants to make fun of my dead cat and says he, he wants my dad to die or some shit. Hey, Justin, I don't live with my fucking dad. I used to. Yeah, I don't anymore. Dumb fuck. Sucks to be you. Don't worry, you're going to be really jealous because I'm, I'm looking at a, a nice big fucking house to buy. That was owned by Freemasons. You know how I know it was owned by a Freemason? Because I went over and looked at the house. And there's a big fucking Freemason brass plaque on the fucking door. He heavy brass Freemason plaque. It's like... That's probably got to be 500 fucking dollars, even if it was cheap. You buy a big brass plaque like that, that's at least fucking $500. And who the fuck's going to pay $500 for a big brass fucking plaque? You know, I had a sponsorship. Somebody was going to pay me $20,000 to be a Freemason or more. I don't know, something like that. And I said, well, I, I said, well, the only problem is, is I'm moving. So I, I didn't take, I would have took, plus... At the time, I felt kind of immature, and I'm like, well, I don't feel mature enough to join. I don't have the mature enough mentality. I think now I do, because I'm older. So I didn't, I didn't want to join and then, like, fuck it up, especially if they're going to pay me to join. So I didn't join. And the guy that was going to give me $20,000 to join, he was a millionaire. So you ain't never had no offer. You ain't no Freemason. And not only that, your little Freemason quote you've changed your name to, it means you support the King of England, dumbass. 
the Freemasons don't really support that anymore. I hate to tell you. They were kicked out of fucking England, and that's where they went to America and fucking found it. And that's why all the founding fathers of America are all fucking Freemasons, because they were kicked out of England. So you're literally using thousand-year-old outdated quotes that don't even fucking represent anything anymore. That's how dumb you are. You're like, oh, I found a Freemason quote on the internet. I think I'll change my name to it to sound fucking smart. That's fucking liberal right there. Here, where's my liberal fucking glasses? That's fucking liberal. I saw something on the internet that sounds smart. Let me change my name to that. Oh, by the way, it doesn't fucking mean anything. It means you support the King of England. Oh, okay, so you support the King of England? That's fucking stupid. That guy's a fucking moron, dumbass. That's probably what you did, is you probably saw... Some fucking guy from England probably made that fucking post, and you're like, oh, ooh, ooh, that's smart, that means something. It doesn't mean shit. That is how dumb you are. You try to act smart. Ooh. Do I look smarter now? My name's Justin Durr. Hey, be more liberal. That's that's real liberal. Yeah, there you go, Justin. Wait, there's something on my glasses. Oh, it's a fingerprint or something. Oh well. All right, you guys are going to you've reached annoying level. So, it's time to be blocked. You're not you're not upsetting me. You're just becoming annoying now. Good job, you're annoying. Great. Wonderful. Go make some more sock accounts, Justin. You know, Justin, you've spent 10 years fucking stalking me, and the best you could come up with is making fun of my poor fucking dead cat. Man, you know what? Could you waste more of your life stalking me? Thank you. Could you waste about 10 more years stalking me to only figure out you're going to make fun of my poor dead fucking cat and saying you want my dad to fucking die? I don't live with my dad, dumb fuck. Hey, dad! No, dad. Here, Justin, I, I heard you liked my cowbell. <laughs> Justin, you're so dumb, you don't even know I'm joking with you. Justin, the real Karen is you because you were so triggered that you decided to stalk me for over 10 years now. That's more Karen. That's the fucking Karen is that something you were so triggered by nothing.
that you felt the, the desire and the urge to compulsively, involuntarily stalk me for over 10 years. I block everybody, so don't feel hurt. Your name kind of sucks anyways. Or not this one, but... Low cow. Yeah, that's come on, dude. Come on, dude. You gotta try better than that. Do I look liberal enough? I'm liberal. Oh, let me be more liberal. I can be like really fucking liberal. Here I go. Let me be really fucking liberal. Here, I got the liberal shit. Let me be hyper fucking liberal for a second. Maybe maybe I'll trigger you some more. Oh, my God. Oh, I just shat my pants. Okay, I hear the UPS guy. Let's see what he's doing. Uh, okay, we're about to go hyper liberal and three, two, one. Hold on. Okay. Is this fucking liberal enough for you? By the way, this says proud. Do I fucking look liberal to you? Is this liberal enough for you? Mickey Mouse is proud. I'm proud to be a liberal. Because at least I know I'm gay. And I'm proud to stand up and take it in the butt. And I defend this flag. Because I'm proud to be liberal. Hell. Uh, who's that? Karl Marx. And Lenin. Hail Lenin and Marx and Mao Zedong. Woo. Am I liberal enough for you? <laughs> Do I fucking look liberal to you? Do I look liberal to you? I gotta take this shit off. All right, that's enough liberalness for right now. Hopefully that uh, triggered you. Are you triggered by my flag and my shirt? You like my uh, proud shirt? I'm proud to be a liberal. Cause at least I know I'm gay. By the way, I will sell you this shirt if you donate to me. Send me 20 bucks. I'll send you this shirt right here. So cash at me, Zombie Lemming. Zombie Lemming. 
brand new shirt. Oh, by the way, uh, you can pick your size. I got 2X and extra large. Yeah, this is 2X. And then I got extra large, so. Cash at me, zombie lemming. Just Z-O-M-B-I-E-L-E-M-M-I-N-G. That's it. So, um, and then put your address. You need a medium? Oh, fuck. Well, you're out of luck. I only got extra large and 2XL. Cash up me 20 bucks. Uh, I guess actually you need shipping. So $25. That includes shipping. And I'll send you that shirt. And if you want, you know, cash at me with your address and what size you want, like XL or 2XL. If you don't distinguish, I'm going to send you the XL. Because I'll wear the uh, two XLs. What happened to my belly? Um, what? There's something wrong with my belly. I don't understand. What's wrong with my belly? I don't, I don't understand. Look, I can't even push it out anymore. Look. <gasps> What's wrong with my belly? <sighs> What's wrong with the... I don't understand. What's wrong with my belly? Is there something wrong with my belly? Cause I'm proud to be liberal. Yes, I'm pregnant with a uh, alien uh, body snatchers. Look, I got fireworks. Whiplash. Look, it's a uh, it's a 200 gram cake. 200 gram whip flash. I'm saving that for New Year's Eve or New Year's Day when it hits. Uh, unless I get drunk and light it off too early. But I'm gonna save that one for uh, New Year's. Once it hits 12 o'clock New Year's, I'm setting that off. Pow, 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 pow. Yeah. Uh-huh. Man, you really got me. Oh, my God. Are you jealous that... Hold on. Something's wrong. I'll be right back. Look at this giant fucking booger. Uh, uh, uh. Ew. 
because at least I know I'm liberal. God bless Stalin and Lenin. <laughs> Mm. Well, hold on. You guys need better insults. Here, make fun of my teeth or something. Something must have triggered you. Hmm. Why so triggered? Look at my piss jug. That's straight piss. Hey, look at this one. It's like cloudy. Oh my fucking God. Is that liberal enough? Are piss jugs liberal? Yeah, probably. So, make fun of me for being liberal. Thank you. You're just a bunch of bigots who hate gays. You support QAnon, wild conspiracy theories. You fucking insurrectionist. Fucking uh, QAnon conspiratards. I am transitioning into a liberal. I might have some, uh, 
I bet you do love queuing on. You know, it turned out to be a fucking uh, FBI fucking psyops, right? Where's queuing on? Well, it ain't queuing on. It's Q, but where's Q now? Oh yeah, the whole thing was just a FBI psyops. That's right. Yeah. You know why you don't hear from Q anymore? Because it was FBI to fuck with Trump supporters. Oh, I never liked Q. I knew that. I'm not dumb. I never liked Q. Because I noticed the only people that were ever really supporting Q people or Q were people that had lisp and sounded gay and tried to act conservative and they weren't and you can tell it's like dude you talk like a fag you ain't no fucking conservative conservatives don't talk all gay and shit I could spot that a mile away because anybody who was conservative really didn't talk about it. Then anybody who had a lisp and sounded gay and act conservative would talk about it. And it's like, yeah, you ain't no fucking conservative. People like uh, the X report. That guy sounds gay as fuck. That guy sounds liberal and gay as fuck. You think I can't hear that gay-ass lisp? It sounds gay as fuck. The X-22 report. That dude sounds gay as fuck. By the way, I think he was kicked off YouTube. For being gay as fuck. Because I'm proud to be liberal. Oh my God, once the government collapses, I'm fucked. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh my God, you got me. Oh my God, you, you fucking got me. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh my god, not my EBT! Well, the cats are dying anyway, so I don't know. Cats are already about fucking dead, so I don't know what to tell you there. Make fun of my cats some more. Make fun of my whatever, liberal ways, I don't know. Try harder. You need to try a little bit harder. It's not working. In fact, look, I'm going to make Peanut Collada. I took some Pina Colada and I made ice cubes out of Pina Colada. And then now I'm going to use that as ice cubes.
Watch, I'll show you how I make my pina colada ice cubes. So look, this says pina colada, right? See, now I take my ice cube tray and I pour this into the ice cube. So now I have pina colada ice cubes. Yes. Couple more ice cubes for good measure. Now I keep Bacardi coconut right there. Now I keep this shit, coconut cream, best shit ever. But I, I keep it in here in the fridge because once you open the can, you got to put it somewhere. So I put it in here. So that's coconut cream right there. So I take a couple scoops of this coconut cream and add it in there. That's good right there couple spoonfuls of some coconut cream and then I take some uh, great value pineapple chunks and 100% pineapple juice I open that up Add some fucking pineapples. Now we're going to add one two three of those party coconut but then i got picardi tropical with pineapple and coconut and we're going to add we're going to add four of those We're going to add a packet of stevia because, ooh, got to love stevia. And I, I think that's it. Is that it? I'm pretty sure that's it. All right. Now we get the lid.
No, I ain't blind it. been keeping this in the freezer which is um that's about a, almost a third of the way full of fully frozen alcoholic um Yeah, down in there, I, I kind of got tired of drinking uh, pina colada yesterday, so I just stuck my pina colada, and this is a, uh, this is a vacuum thing, so it really holds the cold, so now, I'm going to take this and we're going to dump it in there, oh my god, yes. Look at this. Mm. Mm. It's like a slushy. Mm. Mm. tell you something about drinking when you die in the next six months they're gonna harvest your organs okay and they're gonna take that pretty old liver you got and they're gonna give it to George Soros and your your perfect liver it's going to help keep George Soros alive. But yeah, he's not in power anymore. He gave the power to his liberal son who wears liberal glasses. Mm -hmm. Right. 
Now I stick it in my freezer to keep it cold. And there you go. And there you go. That, there's your dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Fucking raining outside. Let's go check it out. That ice I used tastes freezer burnt. That's weird. It's never done that before. So bizarre. I'm liberal. <laughs> I'm trendy and liberal. I love Stalin and Lenin. Uh, I'm liberal. Yep, arresting Donald Trump is a stage four event. And if we're in stage four, you can't reverse that stage. And you're going to die. You're going to die. Uh. Do, 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 do. Let's look at the sky for a minute. What the fuck? That bird scared me on the TV. Cause I heard, er, er, and I'm like, what's, what's that? Oh yeah, the fucking TV. I put that on for the cats. They used to really like it. Now they really don't care anymore. They got used to it. When I first started doing it, they'd stare at the fucking TV like. Uh, now they're they're over it. I still put it on anyways because playing birds is a lot better than watching the fucking liberal media. 
tell me how I need to give up my rights for free health care or some shit. And then these guys are going to come in and go, you're Medicaid. Oh, my God. I don't know if you guys watched Idiocracy, but in the movie Idiocracy, if you don't pay your medical bills, you go to jail. That's liberal right there. I feel like I gotta take a shit. Nice big liberal dump. Colors. Colors, 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 colors. Colors. Cholera. 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 Chlamydia. Syphilis. 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 All right, I'm taking a dump. A nice liberal dump. Don't worry, I'll show you when I'm done. I think I'm done. Oh my God. By the way, these are just computer glasses. They're not they're not prescription or nothing like that. Um, they're just blue light blocking glasses. I'm just trying to look more liberal. Liberals are pseudo-intellectual, anti-intellectual. They're actually intellectual phobia, phobics, phobia. Liberals actually have a phobia of intelligence because they're anti-science, anti-facts, anti-logic, anti-common sense. Um, they promote lies and propaganda and they regurgitate brainwashing um that has nothing to do with intellectualism at all that's basically just they're brainwashed and 
they're a bunch of parrots that regurgitate lies and propaganda. That's not intelligent. A parrot can repeat shit people say. That does not make you intelligent. Critical thinking, the ability to think on your own, that's intelligent. And that's what I do. Look at my ears wiggle. Okay, let's look at my poop. Oh, that's just fucking wonderful, ain't it? Oh, it fucking smells. Oh, fuck. Oh, God, it's nasty and it fucking smells. Fuck. What the fuck? <laughs> That's nasty. You know what? My toilet's pretty dirty. Let's clean it. Alright. Alright, I got some bleach. All-purpose bleach. Fresh scent. Oh, great. Alright, that's enough. Fucking damn it. Just gonna rinse my butt. Oh, my glasses are getting cloudy. Damn it! See, glasses are fogged up. My glasses are fogged up. Uh. Oh, I got.
got to set you down and dry off. My proper pronouns are they and and we because uh, yeah yeah my proper pronouns are they or we so you better call me we kind of like the uh Kind of like the Nintendo Switch. Call me the Wii. My proper pronouns are they, them, or we. Hmm. Poor humming butts. They need that feeder filled. Oh, my glasses are a little wet. Oh my God, I'm naked. Oh, I gotta put them back on. Okay, I'm not naked anymore there. I'm naked. No, I'm actually fucking naked. Oh. No, I'm just showing you. Okie dokie, hokey pokey, okie dokie. I'm gonna put my pants back on. Yeah, I just bought these Walmart, $9. They're cool because they're rip stop. Because I'm always like ripping holes in my jeans, so I totally need like rip stop shit. I'm always ripping holes and shit. See, look. See, they're rip stop. See? Look. In the wintertime, I feed regular birds. In the summertime, I feed hummingbirds. But in the winter, I feed, like, I feed birds like that, like all these birds. I feed them in the winter because that's when they need it. They don't need it in the summer, the regular birds. But in the summer, I do hummingbirds. 
And then in the winter, I switch over and do bird seed. And I get about three or four different kinds of woodpeckers. Great big giant woodpecker, normal woodpecker, and two small woodpeckers. Two different kinds of small woodpeckers. There's a really small one, one that's still real small, but a hair bigger, and then a bigger woodpecker, and then a great big woodpecker. But the great big one's not like that weird looking one. I've never seen those. I don't think they're in this area. Or they don't eat at my feeder. Um, I thought I had a picture of them somewhere. Oh well. Is this it? Uh, oh. Here it is. No, that's not it either. Oh well. Uh oh. Okay, so what are we going to eat today? What are we going to eat today? Sandwiches, I guess. Oh, see, here's my steak. I know this is a pork chop. So I took, I bought like a big thing of pork chops and then I individually put them in um, Ziploc bags and then freeze them and then as I want to eat I take them out and thaw them so so say if I wanted a pork chop well there's a big fucking pork chop right there and I did that with chicken um, steak pork chops and then uh, lunch meat. I'll show you the lunch meat. See, lunch meat, that's a big thing of lunch meat. That is a pound and a half, no. A pound and a fourth, one, one and a fourth pounds of lunch meat frozen I also got cheese bought the cat shit bought some cigarettes I'll need to buy more cigarettes I got about enough cigarettes to last half a month I used to not buy so much bulk, but then I realized running to the store every fucking week costs more money. So now I buy even more in bulk because I realized, well, I'll save money on gas. And then uh, not only that, sometimes you can't always get to the store. See, that's the woodpecker I get. That's the big woodpecker that I get. So there's two that look like that, and one's huge, and then the other is about that big. And I get those and stuff. Poor humming butts. You know, I don't even want to fill the... Oh, if I do fill it, it'll stop. Okay. Let's give them some more food, I guess. Hmm. Let's make some humming bird food. So I take this, 
There's a little bit left in there, but fuck it. I take my big thing of sugar. I'll probably need to buy more sugar. See how much sugar that is. That's mm, about a third. I need a little bit more. That's about how much you're supposed to use, but I like giving them a little bit more. Alright, let's see what that does. What do you want to bet? That's too much. No, that's the right amount. So, almost half. Now you take it and you flip it upside down. And make sure it all gets off the bottom and up by the lid. See that? Now you flip it back over and you go and then you go and then you go now wait a second, let it settle. Then you go now you go then you go now you look at the bottom and see how much is. See how it's dissolving? Eventually this will turn clear. Now let's look at the bottom again. Oh, that was so sad. That's how you make hummingbird food. Pretty simple. Pretty simple shit. The bottom's totally frozen solid. Look, totally frozen. All right. It's like halfway full and that bottom's totally solid. Here, let's stir it up. Maybe that'll get it up done. Nope, that's pretty solid. I think this glass is dirty. I'm, I'm kind of going to rinse it out or something. See, look, it's starting to clear up now. Not all the way, but you can start to see it clear up by the bottom down there. Cloudy. It'll clear up. Those are like air bubbles.
I'm proud to be a liberal. Cause at least I know I'm gay. Let's make it stronger. Let's add more Bacardi. Yes. Gotta shake it out. There you go. I don't care. That's enough. Hey, if I am a liberal, that means if you make fun of me, you're a Nazi, you're racist, you're a bigot, um, you're a, you're an, um, yeah, you know, you're anti-gay, fucking. You're a racist, bigot, QAnon, um. I don't, you know, I don't fucking know. Hate speech, fucking lover. Mm. Yeah, it tastes a little better now. Mm. Chunk of ice. Oh, holy shit. Is there still water on there? Yeah, there is. A little speck of water there. Am I liberal? You guys sure did quit commenting all of a sudden. What happened? Oh, I need to flush my toilet.
Oh, look. I got girl razors. Because I'm gay. Do I look liberal to you? Huh? I do. Well, let me let me show you something here. Let me show you something. Do I look liberal now? Do I look liberal now? Oh! Are you confused? I'm bi liberal. I'm half liberal, half conservative. I'm bi liberal. <laughs> I swing both ways. I'm a little bit conservative. I'm a little, little bit liberal. Can, are you allowed to do that? Stop the hate. Learn to appreciate. Now, actually, what I am is I'm, I was conservative. Now, now I'm going to be more liberal. Because really, you know, the liberals keep saying the KKK and the Nazis are a conservative party. But actually, the, the Nazi party was called the Nazi Socialist Party. Yeah, Hitler was socialist. So, they try to say he was like conservative or something. That doesn't make any sense because his party was literally called the Nazi Socialist Party. Hmm. Socialist. What does that sound like? Socialist? Does that sound... Does that sound more conservative? Is socialist more conservative? Or is that more liberal? Yeah, it's more liberal. So, yeah. <laughs> and for a lot of the war, most of the war... Hitler was teamed up with Russia, but only towards the end did Russia go against them. Why is that? I don't know. You'd have to ask the Russians, I guess. I don't know. Um, then they, you know, the liberals like to say the KKK party uh is a conservative party. Well, I don't know. When you look it up, it's historically a democratic party. So I don't know. For a bunch of uh, racist Nazis who are supposed to be conservative, I don't know. Uh, if I was a racist Nazi, um, I don't know. The liberals seem more fascist and racist than anybody. So I don't know if I really was a fascist, racist Nazi, uh, the uh, liberal party seems the way to go because I don't know any racist conservatives, but I know a lot of racist liberals. They're still racist and they were racist. And if you look up, who did the uh, KKK historically back up? It was always Democrats. Always. 
So what we do is we project onto others what we do. So if we rig an election, we say, no, you rigged the election. And that's why Donald Trump is charged with trying to overthrow a rigged election. Because it's okay if you rig an election, but it's not okay if you talk about it. Especially if you're not liberal. If you're liberal, you can talk about how Trump was an illegitimate presidency and how Russia rigged the election for Donald Trump. That's okay. But if Donald Trump says the election was rigged, no, that's not okay. That's an insurrection. So understand how liberalism works. Okay, thank you. So I think liberals do confessions through projecting. Whatever they're guilty of, they project onto their enemy and accuse them of whatever they're guilty of. So if they're racist and rig elections, you project that onto the other party and accuse them of that. But then if they accuse you of uh, rigging elections, well, you just call that an insurrection or whatever. Or him trying to overthrow a legit, totally legitimate election. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, look at the, um, look at my mix. It cleared up. See how it's clear now? Look at that. Fucking clear as a bell, motherfucker. See how everything looks blue with these glasses? That's because these glasses reflect blue light. They're blue light reflecting glasses. So if you look at things, like if I go like this, everything looks more blue. But if I go like this, everything looks a little more yellow. And that's because it reflects blue light. So that's why the reflection looks blue. They're blue light reflecting glasses. Yeah. See, I go like this, everything's blue. Go like this, oh, everything's not blue. What do you know? (laughs) does any of this make any sense to you no okay good just making sure see here's the glasses i bought Protect your eyes from harmful blue light. And look. Three fucking bucks. They used to be like 20 fucking bucks. I got them for three fucking bucks. It actually says on there, not all blue light is harmful. Dude, it totally works. Because if I go like that, blue. If I go like that, green. Blue, green, blue, green.
All right, let's uh, fuck with this. Um, uh, my vase, this big fucking vase I bought. Here, let's check it out. I need to find somewhere for you to sit down. Hold on. Well, that don't work. I gotta set you over there. Look at this big fucking vase I bought, dude. What the fuck? Ew, it fucking smells. This thing is fucking huge. I didn't realize it was so big. Maybe it is worth it. We are going to change America into a communist socialist country. You're going to love it. country 
the country of clowns. Clown world country. <laughs> All right. Uh, now it's time to fill it with water. Ooh, water? What? Not a bunch of water. Look at that big fucking base right there. We're gonna fill it with water. Water, water, water. Mmm, turn me. I wonder how much water is supposed to go in there. I don't know. I don't know. I better check. Let's do one more ball and then we'll check. All right, let's check now. See how full it is. Yeah, that's that's a good amount right there. I think that's enough. All right, now let's turn on the fountain. And three, two, one, fountain. Woo! Woo! Hell yeah! We got us a fountain. Oh my god! It's kind of crookedy. How do I fix that? I like rub on it. Woo! How do you like my fountain? How do you like my fountain? You know what kind of sucks is it's not going over there. That kind of sucks. Oh, kind of worked. There we go. I don't know if there's a way to get it to go over there. Yeah, I got an idea. Let's twist the tube maybe. There we go, that's more even. Well, yeah, I got it. There we go, it's working. Yeah! Woo! Now that's a fountain! Look at that. 
You know what? If I tilt it a little, it'll do that. Let's see. Let's tilt it a little. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, it's going across the whole thing now. Look. I just had to tilt it. Just a hair. Play shout out. Shout. Shout. Let it all out. These are the... Um, so come on. I'm talking to you. Come on. Shout. Shout. Let it all out. I don't know that song. I just, you know, I've heard, probably seen it on a commercial or something. It's working! Woo, this was 50 fucking dollars. 50 fucking dollars. It's huge. It's fucking huge. Look at it. It's almost touching the fuck. Dude, there's only like an inch between that and my fucking thingamajagger. Fuck. Well, in the summertime, I mean, during the wintertime, I can just bring it in and look at it. Oh, I bet my cats will try to drink out of it. That'll be fucking weird. Poor kitties. That'll probably drive the cats nuts. Fifty fucking bucks for this fucking thing. Well, there's only one way to know if you like something or not, and that's to buy it and figure out do you really like it or not. I would say, eh, I really wanted it, but I don't know. Uh-oh, my phone's dying. Yeah, this thing is fucking huge. I don't, know, I don't really like it a lot. The It's made out of plastic and it's like I don't even know what paint that is. I thought I thought it said glazed glass or ceramic, but No, it showed up and it's plastic. It's like if I thought it was plastic, no, I would not have bought it. I don't know what kind of fucking plastic that is. Is that BPA? Is there lead in it? Black is that leaded that. paint? <laughs> fucking gay. Gay! I don't know. I guess I could return it if I want. Does it leak? Is it leaking? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't even know if it fucking leaks or anything. I don't know. It could leak for all I know. 
Ooh, it's really going across the whole thing now. From here to there, that's pretty good. Sounds like a really long piss. Ah! I'm pissing! It's definitely working as advertised, but... Block everybody. Yeah. Well, if you're not talking, then you'll just get blocked because that's annoying too. See how big it is? Look at how big it is. It's fucking huge. I thought it would be like this big. Like about that tall. No, this fucking thing is big. kind of flowing hmm I want to clean it out and shit no, no. maybe we'll let it run because I want it to clean out a little I want to clean it out because whoa it really shoots out of there Fuck, now I'm bored. I don't even know what to fucking do. Fuck. Look at my tomatoes. Those are all... I grew all those tomatoes right there. Maybe we'll eat some fucking tomatoes. I don't know. I'm bored of my glasses. Yeah, I'm 
Oh, everything looks bluer now. This light's really fucking blue. Um, fuck, I By the way, that soda sucks. I did not like it. All of them suck. I tried all of them. They all fucking are dog shit. The melon one was actually the best because at least it tasted like melon. It tasted like green melon. It's like... What the fuck is green melon fucking flavor? Anyways. Oh, look, it's starting to do its weird little thing again. Or it ain't going all the way across the top. It's fucking gay. So, I need, okay, instead of being bored, okay, let's see. I need to figure out how am I going to set that up so the birds can get to it. Yeah, let's let's do that. I see the perfect fucking thing right out my window right now. A big fucking barrel. Yes. Don't come in, kitty. It's raining. Yeah. Uh, come in. You don't want to come in? Well, make up your mind. Okay, you don't want to come in. I found the perfect thing to set it on. Oh, if it falls. I need to find some Velcro or something. I'll set it on some Velcro. Or just fucking glue it to the top. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, I got another thing. Yeah, I got a couple things. That barrel, the other thing. See, look at this barrel. That I could set it on top of that, or I have that. Hmm. Hmm. I need to find some kind of Velcro thing. That way, it just don't totally fall off. Oh, I'll probably have to buy some kind of Velcro. Double stick shit. Whoa, it's Wendy.
Harley. If it's windy, we could fly a All kite. Right. Yeah. All right, so how am I gonna put this thing up? I don't know why I buy stupid shit. It's probably the dumbest fucking thing I've ever bought. I don't know, I'll set the camera up and we'll film hummingbirds bathing in it though. Then we'll try to monetize it for money, woo! No, I doubt people watch hummingbird shit. All right, how are we gonna do this? I'm gonna think about it. Something smells like beef jerky. I smell beef jerky. What the fuck? What the fuck? What is this? A leaf? I could make a big fire since it rained. Well, I guess not if people are fucking driven by. Oh, yeah, I can't make a fire there. Fucking gay. Maybe I can find something that will, like, I can put it down inside of or something. It is like a vase. Hmm. Oh, I could cut a hole in the top of that barrel. And then set it down in there. That at least keep it kind of somewhat stable. <coughs> yeah. Yep. I don't know. Would that look tacky like that? Hmm. Nah. I don't know. Oh, a full shaker cup. Kitty cats, you want to go in? What are you guys doing? Oh, a limb did fall out of the tree. Huh. 